Welcome to how to measure the Doré Way. The first thing you want to do is tie an elastic string around her waist. This is going to be her natural waist, the smallest part of her torso. The first measurement you're going to do is her bust. This is going to be around her back and across the fullest part of her bust. The next measurement you're going to do is her rib cage. Next will be the waist. You're going to go right over that elastic you tied. The next measurement you're going to do is her high hip. And this will be where you feel your hip bone. Before you take away the measuring tape, make sure you put your finger there because next you're going to measure waist to high hip. From there, you're going to measure her hip and that is going to be around the fullest part of her butt. Like the high hip, you're also going to put your finger there and then measure waist to hip. Next, you're going to measure bust point to point. Next, you will measure neck to bust. And this is going to be from the top seam of the shoulder. From there, without moving the tape, you're gonna go under her bust. Then you're going to remove the tape and go to that under bust point for under bust to waist. For center front to waist, you're going to go right in the middle of her neck and go down to her waist. For across chest, you're going to go from seam to seam above her bust. For underarm back width, you're going to have her lift her arms a little bit and go from that seam all the way around to the other side of that seam. And you want this to be right along where her bra line would be. For shoulder width, you're going to have her put her arms down and measure from the point of the shoulder all the way across the shoulder line to the other side. For shoulder length, you're going to go from the base of her neck to that shoulder point. For back width four inches down, you're going to have her bend her head forward just slightly so you can find that top vertebrae. And then you go from seam to seam four inches down. For bra strap to bra strap, you're gonna find her strap and go right across. For upper chest, you're going to go all the way around her body, above her bust. Make sure she drops her arms at this point. For halter, you're going to go around her neck to each point of the bust. For back neck to waist, you're going to go from that same vertebrae For a round neck, you're going to measure this as you would a collar. For arm length to elbow, 
you're going to have to lift out her arms slightly, bend it just so slightly, and measure from the top of the shoulder, back behind the elbow, and then down to the wrist, taking care that the measurement tape does not move. Around armhole, you want to make sure she drops her arm at this point. Upper arm width, this is going to be around the fullest part of her bicep. Around elbow. Lower arm width. This is going to be the largest part of her forearm, just below the elbow. Her wrist. And underarm length. You're going to follow the arm all the way down to the wrist. Again, taking care that the measurement tape does not move and is flush to her body. To measure the waist to waist, which is for the bodysuit length, you're going to start at the front of her waist, go through her legs, and up to the back. Only pull this as tight as she is comfortable with. For the thigh, this is the measurement that we will use for the leg hole of the bodysuit. You'll have her lift her knee so you can see exactly where that bend is and measure that area. Before you move the tape, put your finger there, just like the hip measurements, because you're going to do waist to the bend of the thigh. From there, you're going to go down to mid-knee have her straighten her leg, and you're going to go on the outside of the leg. You will go down to mid-calf, and down to her mid-ankle bone. This is very important for the length. From here, you will do waist to under fanny. This measurement will be just under the roundest part of her butt. Now you'll do wrist bone to wrist bone. Having her put her arms straight to the sides, you'll go across her shoulders, taking care that the measurement tape does not move. And that's how you measure the Doré way. Be sure to take pictures and send them in with your measurements.